Claire is in a dilemma. Her cat Chopet wants to go outside. However, Chopet sometimes doesn't want to come home, causing Claire to worry about her cat. A GPS tracker would solve the problem. Claire would always know where Chopet is. However, the cat tracker with its big battery is too heavy for the small and fragile cat. Claire's best friend, Tony, is an engineer. She invented the prototype for an ultralight cat tracker for Claire. The tracker uses the electrostatic charge of the fur, which results from the movement of the cat via an electrode as an energy source. Claire is very excited and wants to patent her friend's invention. When Claire reads an old magazine in the dentist's waiting room, she is shocked. An animal tracker based on the same technology as hers already exists. However, Claire's research shows that no patent has been filled for this animal tracker. Inventions can be patented, but not every invention receives patent protection. An essential prerequisite for protection is that the invention is new. Here, a comparison is made with earlier inventions. The decisive date for this comparison is the date of the patent application. Anything made available to the public in any form before this deadline belongs to the so-called prior art and destroys the novelty. This includes all information published in earlier patents. However, the concept of prior art goes far beyond that. If the invention was described in writing or verbally prior to the application, and if this description was made available to the public, the invention is no longer new. Even if a publication of the invention took place in a country distant to Switzerland or in a language that isn't one of the Swiss official languages or English, the novelty of the invention is eliminated. The same applies to publications from long ago. After all, the mere use of an invention in public destroys its novelty, too. The requirement of novelty occasionally represents a pitfall on the way to a patent because the inventor can also destroy it himself by a careless action. For example, when the inventor talks about his invention in public before submitting the application for a patent. Beispielsweise, wenn er über seine eigene Erfindung spricht in der Öffentlichkeit, bevor er die Patentanmeldung einreicht. 